Hello guys, what's up? My name is Hillman and today tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to make a cool particle explosion effect like on some of my videos. If you haven't watched my videos, be sure to watch it and you guys will know what is cool uh, what is the particle explosion look like. This is um my cool particle explosion uh, on my previous video, the Mario video. Um see that? This is how I can show you guys how to do it. Um, you, uh, this one I didn't add m uh, uh, optical flare because every time I add optical flare, my After Effects crash. So it's so if you guys don't know how to do it, just experiment it. It's easy to add optical flares, and uh, next time I will do it. Well, you see the background there. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. First thing, um, um, drag your footage, 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 and um, I'm going to um, duplicate. I'm going to I'm going to split layer my footage there, and find frame where I drop myself from me there just to make a cool, you know, like teleportation effect. Just drag it to the footage down below here. Just gonna make, yep. And I'm gonna make this the shortest video ever. Trim comp that. Trim comp that bastard. <laughs> so next what you're gonna do is, um, double, um, Pre comp this both footage. I'm gonna need this footage two because I already made one. <laughs> then find frame where you want to put your explosion. I'm gonna put it here. And next, you go to the layer, ne layer, new, solid. I'm gonna name this particle, explo particle explosion. Pack explosion. That sounds nice. And then what you're gonna do is um, go to effects tab. If it doesn't have the effects tab here, from workspace up here, go go to effects. If you're on somewhere else, um, search for CC particle wheel. Yeah, drag your particle wheel to the to the solid and take the center point here and put it on the place where you want to put the explosion gonna put right at my tummy or my chest or my dick I'm gonna put it in my tummy I'm gonna put it in the center there um, next you're gonna keyframe your um, what do you call it particles birth rate so um, go back for about one two three three frames backward and hit frame hit the stopwatch and make sure you set it to zero and one two three I mean one, one, two, three. Yeah, I'm gonna change to one, and then I uh, go to five frame forward. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna change back to zero. And now next, um, go to um, producer. I, I'm sorry. I mean physics. Yeah, physics. Uh, increase the velocity, so you make a larger particle explosion. Um, the gravity changed to zero so you don't have any gravity you can make the gravity like l lower but nah I'm gonna make the gravity to zero gravity and since it's yellow you can you, you can barely sh uh, s see the particle go to particle and change the birth color to something you know that you can see I'm gonna make it this blue, right? I'm gonna change the mode from normal to add. Then, bam! You can see clearly. <laughs> and the next is you have to make your particle reflect on the floor. There, if your if your particle if your floor here doesn't uh, match up with your footage floor, all you need to do is go to um, physics tab and go to floor drag and just play with the floor position 
you can rotate it but I didn't remember how to rotate it so um, you just have to find where to rotate it <laughs> the floor action from none you're gonna change uh, there's three option from ice is ice is a uh, where you particle slide see where your particle slide this always happen when on you have like you're gonna be on the floor instead of a mm, concrete floor like a cement um, uh, actually this is on ice or in on floor tile I guess um, second you get glue this uh, always on this actually on I always do this on grass like particle doesn't bounce or ice on grass they usually stick and next is bounce which is I always do which is cool so if you scrub there over boom you can see the particle bounce and that's pretty much it don't touch the render animation you can just touch it but you can see this cool looking yeah you can also make this like um Um, you have uh, you can add a more cooler effect like yeah duplicate that and during the animation for the let's name this particle oh my bad particle explosion two and let's make the render animation project floor and let's just put it somewhere over there and then. That is some nice shit, but I don't usually do that, so I guess delete that. So next, you have to add some search for glow and drag it to the your explosion, so it will give you a nice glow effect. Yeah. And uh, if you don't want just to make like a cutscene, like just like boom, it appears. You can just add optical flares to it. The uh, from brightness zero, then from he and then here you change it to fifty, and then make it larger like one hundred and fifty, and then go back to zero to make a fade transition. Um, I will show it, but right now my my optical flares plugin is messed up every time I want to add the optical flares my after effect crash I don't know why maybe because of my GPU yeah um, you can also add a shockwave effect like in quarters digital if you watch all of the video they have cool looking shockwave effect I have a tut I Put a tutorial shockwave effect in the link below. I already made a shockwave effect tutorial, so if you guys don't watch it yet, watch it. Uh, I guess that's it. You can just go experiment your f um, the particle, the CC particle wheel, and just you know just play with it. I kind of like doing this. Oh yeah, if you see the birth, the death of the color is red, you can just change it um, to particle, you know, from red to green. Like, that's look nice, isn't it? And you can also change your particle type to stars. Like, but no, it looks ugly. Um, change to fate sphere, no. Cube. A bit of nice. I love cube, but nah. So I'm gonna change to line. So thanks for this. That's pretty much it. So thanks for watching my video. Uh, I mean, thanks for watching my tutorial. And be sure to click like and subscribe button. If you guys have any problem, comment down below, and I'll be pretty much sure to help you guys. So if you guys have any requests on what tutorial I should do next, and uh, 
just leave a comment below and I will read it. So yeah, subscribe for more tutorials and more videos. And um, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.